Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to Neo Scavenger. If you remember last time, we actually made it to the ATN Enclave, which stands for the Anishabi. I can't say that word, guys. I do apologise. Anishabi Tribal Nation. We learned some stuff, and uh, we also learned from a newspaper clipping that we were shown by a girl called Michelle, or a woman, sorry, called Michelle, that obviously we didn't age when we were in the cryo facility and that we were getting chased by a spirit and the talisman we're wearing is actually um, made I think by this group or we came to them with this talisman to see what it was about but I'm going to go for a meal, I'm going to sit down for a meal um, and we just had a hearty meal which is pretty good and um, we can go and visit Joe as well um, he uh, can clean and dress wounds I don't think we've actually got anything. I think he can only do that like every so often, but we're gonna leave the village. And there's the ATN enclave there. And I think we're gonna head for the Allegan Fairgrounds there, which I think is just right below, I'm, I'm fairly sure. Uh, it can be really ropey, the Allegan Fairgrounds, but we're gonna do some scavenging today as the game is obviously Neo fucking scavenger. And we've done hardly any scavenging recently, but we've got some really good gear. Uh, some really good gear, other than stuff to actually carry stuff in, which is a bit of a shame. Um, we stack them. Let's just see if we can play a bit of inventory Tetris right now, just so we can get some more berries in. Get some edible shit. All right, okay, we do need to purify some water at some stage as well, um, but not really too pressing at the moment. Um, and then I think if we survive this, as I said, in the last episode I think it was no it wasn't it was the episode before that we are gonna uh, actually head to the Saginaw Mental Institution which I believe is the Church of the Blue Frog um, and just try and cover all bases right what have we got there utility cutter black shirt rifle scope with strap what's the condition on that 27 yeah we're definitely taking that Be careful not to take the uh, the talisman off there it would get fucked up our character's looking really good. I like, really enjoying using the ranged trait as well. Um, a couple of episodes ago, obviously, we managed to kill. Oh no, in the last episode, we managed to kill as well. Uh, using that, and uh, we've got some good stuff. So there's a squirrel corpse there. I mean, we could probably cut this up, um, and that'll probably do us for a meal, really. I think that's what we are going to do. So let's head into the crafting screen. Uh, we'll use our trapping, oh no we won't, we need to end our turn, as I think it's just hitting dusk, and there is a guy right behind us there, so we're going to hide, hopefully this motherfucker comes over, no, hmm, very strange, okay so if we go into the crafting screen, and we don't want to use the rotten squirrel corpse, we just want to use the normal one, and we can use one of our shards of glass and our trapping skill and that's going to get us a small chunk of meat and a corpse basically, uh, sorry, some small animal hide. I'm not going to really utilize the animal hide at all, um, but you know, that's fine. No problem there whatsoever doing that. Uh, just gives us a little bit of a snack, so we're going to use this fire. Uh, sorry, this tree just to get some twigs and bark, and then we can actually craft a fire. So, where's crafting? I always forget where it is. I'm pretty sure it moved from where it was originally, uh, but that could just be me being a bit of a dick. So, let's start a friction fire, and then we're going to stoke that friction fire up as well. There we go. And we just need to move that into there and just start purifying this water, really. Where the fuck is my pot? There it is. Okay, so at least we've got some purified water there. I think we may need to actually use a stick to put the small chunk of raw meat on there as well. Um, I'm not too sure. Really don't know. But let's end our turn. We're still hidden. Or we're still hiding, rather. Um, item screen. Let's go back to crafting and just keep using this fire we can use that basically just to keep us warm and uh, i think the soup tin that i've got we might be worth crafting a um a noise trap out of that as well uh, where's the small chunk of meat 
Come on, where the fuck is it? Uh, that's not it. A handful of coffee. We could make some coffee, though. I don't think I've ever had coffee on this game. I think that's that's going to be it, guys. That's what we're going to do. Um, seriously? There's the meat. I've got, like, cured meat. That's fine. I can't believe I can't see this. Anyway, we'll continue with the water for now. Uh, we don't need to do the sterilised water. Why can't I see anything? This is, like... Uh, there it is, fucking hell. Sending me fucking batty there, guys. I just didn't know didn't know what I was doing there for a second. Has the meat just disappeared? Let me to that's uh, spoiled. Fuck it, that spoiled really quickly. Um really, really quickly considering we just sorted that out, but you know it's a good idea. It's a good idea at the time. Um let's pop our pot in there as well and just get all this water purified. Okay, sterilized, non-sterilized. We're doing we're doing pretty well. Normally when I say that we generally die, so expect death guys. Expect death. Alright, standard water there, so sterilized. All that is sterilized. Okay, we're looking good. And um let's try and make some coffee. I think we should we should try and make some coffee here. Okay, nice. So we can actually make some coffee. Um that's really cool. I like that a lot. I don't know why that's like amazing, but hey ho. And we're gonna get this can. And I think we just need to use this, I believe. Um, let's take the fire out of the equation for now. Uh, what else do we need? Do we need trapping? No, we don't. Hmm. I really don't know. In fact, let's let's actually make some more coffee just while we're here. Uh, that's fine. So twenty parts. I don't know. Do we need string as well? I think that's that's what we could probably do with. Where's my fucking can gone? Well, I'll just use this unlabeled one. It's probably the same one anyway. Noise trap. There we go. We actually haven't got anywhere to keep this at the moment, um, but that's fine. No problem at all with that. And uh, can we actually stoke this fire? Oh, we can make two fires, holy shit. Right, okay, so we're gonna get some rest and hopefully we're actually gonna get a safe rest for now. Uh, two fires, because, you know, we can. And we've got a bit more alertness there as well. We just need to quickly pack this stuff um, into our bottles, which I think we should have enough of. Generally wanna keep the tan and tea. Um, Let's just drink that. Okay, what else have we got? I've got a feeling we could clear more space here. There we go. Uh, we haven't actually got anywhere to carry any of this stuff, which is a bit of a shame. Eat some edible berries just before dinner time. And in fact, we might as well pack them in there. You guys need to remind me that I've actually got edible berries under my coat. Coffee powder, yeah, not really an issue. So let us um, just get this going and we're going to sleep. I mean, we should be okay. There should be no reason. Uh, we're going to keep resting with the noise trap and a pretty successful night's sleep so far, which is really, really nice. War Club. Ah, shit. Our fucking sack's falling apart, so to speak. Right. That makes stuff difficult. Oh, for fuck's sake. Right, I'm gonna use that and... Oh, shit, the bed. I mean, the problem is, if we take this, we're not gonna be able to take the war club. I think that's like one of the best weapons on the game, from what I know, from what I can remember, anyway. Um, oh, fuck. Do I just jettison the water, guys? What do you think? And the bullets, holy shit, man. Alright, let's. We should be able to take the bullets. Um, <sighs> shit. It's not good, guys. It's just not good. We, we won't even have stuff to make more arrows. Caffeine high for the win. Um, maybe I'll take one bottle of water with us. Maybe we get, get rid of the meat. I don't know. Fuck it, we'll get rid of all like the scraps of paper as well. I'd prefer to have some water on us. Um, 
I like these bottles better as well. Uh, so we've got two bottles of water and some tannin tea as well. So that's generally what we need. Uh, and we're going to be heading south. We are sweating our tits off now because we are on a caffeine high. Uh, even though the outdoor temperature is pretty low. We're just, just gurning our heads off, you know. We just love the caffeine. Right, so we've got a fucking toolbox now. What else we got? Grey shirt, Viper boot. Nothing really else, but we can empty this out, I believe. Hey, can I can even put tools in there. That's fucking shit. Um, we're well, fucking. We're, we're not going to bother with that. I don't think you can put this on your back either, for that for like the obvious reason that you couldn't carry that round on your back. So let's. Oh fuck me! There's a dog, man. Right? How many turns we got? One, two. Just get away from this motherfucker. Oh, for fuck's sake, man. We are hidden though still. I'm not too sure why. I don't know if that uses more turns. Yeah, it does. Right, so let's end turn. We are crashing. So we're just going to scavenge right quick. I uh, just wanted to get away from that dog man as quickly as possible. Oh, shit, we didn't pick up the noise trap. Not that we could have actually taken it anyway, really. Um, but... You know, still a bit of a pain. We could probably leather the dogman. I'd kind of fancy us to beat him, but you know, I don't really want to unnecessarily fight a dogman because sometimes he can just absolutely fuck it instantly. Um, shit, we, we're still hidden, so let's hide our tracks. Hide our tracks again just to make sure. And I'm gonna end. Yeah, fucking hell, guys. Shit, this guy with a ranged attack. Okay, we're just gonna keep ranged attacking him. He's coughing blood. He's still five spaces away. And again, severe pain. How do we know he's in severe pain? Is he like wincing? <sighs> Shit. All right, we're gonna have to go for this guy with the war club. Yeah, this could be the end, guys. Yeah, we're dead. I think we're fucking dead. No, how the fuck are we not dead? Oh, come on, let's... I don't know why we would do... No fucking way. So, oh, fuck, where's my dogman jacket gone as well? Oh, I fucking left that. Luckily, we just killed another one, but... Uh, we can take two of our arrows back, and we just... I think we just fucked them up. Yeah, I mean, it's a moderate cut. We need to generally sort that out. Um, but that is not bad at all. Um, we just fucked up a dogman so we can get a dogman coat back again. Um, thankfully, I mean, after being such a fucking tit and leaving it behind. Um, I've even got a kind of glass shards, oh, for fuck's sake, man. Oh, yeah, we can use this, I think. Oh, shit. I don't want to do that. There we go. Um, so we've got a dogman coat back again. Very, very nice. And uh, that is that is really good that we've just fucked them up quite easily. Uh, we need to eat a carrot to celebrate there as well. And just general general magic all the way around there, guys. Uh, the war club is outstanding. Um, I mean, he didn't get anywhere near us. I know the, the range trait with the arrows probably kept him at bay. Because... Um, we were slowing him down every time he was advancing towards us. He was kind of getting hit. Um, but the range straight, a combination between ranged and melee makes us a pretty good attacking force. Uh, having said that, we'll probably die in the next episode because that's what happens. But um, yeah, not bad at all. I think on that note, guys, I'm going to call it an episode here. The last episode was really long and I'm just batch recording these at the moment. I'm really, really enjoying playing it. Uh, so, as I said, if you do like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please give it. Please give it a thumbs up. Or just let me know what you think in the comments, regardless if you like it or not, or what you think I should do. Or if you guys have got any tips, maybe I'm going the wrong way, doing the wrong thing, or whatnot. It's always good to chat to you guys. So, as I said, let me know. So, as always, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you soon.